Hello and welcome to the Red Fox Report presented by the Mayor Center for Sports Communication. I'm Robert DeFelice. And I'm James Haug. And we got action coming to you today from men's lacrosse, track and women's basketball. We're going to start things off with men's lacrosse. Marist hosting Bellarmine for their first time in program history. We start in the second quarter. Jamison Embry freezes the keeper and puts one in off the fast break. The fourth consecutive goal for Marist. They take the early lead. Three minutes left in the first half. Christian Dello Rocco gets the first half hat trick with that one to cut the Marist lead to three at the half. Fourth quarter now, game is tied. Embry all alone in the front of the net and he puts that one home for his fourth goal of the day. This one gives Marist the lead. Now with under six minutes remaining. Jake DC with the steal and a beautiful pass to Embry all alone, puts it in again, his fifth goal of the game. That is a career high for the grad student. It ties the game at 10. But with two and a half remaining, Bellarmine on the man up. Lucas Sinon snipes home the game winner. Bellarmine wins 13 to 10. Maris still looking for their first win of the season. We hear from head coach Wilkinson after the game. Bellarmine's been playing really well all season and I'm proud of the guys for their effort, but to, you know, have another loss is not something we expect as a program and we're certainly disappointed. We've made some tremendous strides, but uh, we're not where we need to be yet. In track news, Glenn Moore Leonard Osborne is the repeat IC4A champion in the 60 meter dash coming in under seven seconds. And now we jump over to women's basketball as the Red Foxes visit the Lady Gales of Iona looking to take down the MAC leader and get higher seating in the MAC tournament. We start things off with six minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter as Ketsia Atheist goes in for the lay. She goes on to have 18 points for the Lady Gals. Now, four minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Morgan Tompkins drills the three. She goes on to have 13 points for the Red Foxes. Less than six minutes left in the first, fourth quarter. Oak Missouri in the corner. She answers with the corner three and ties the game up at 60 with just six minutes left to go in the game. 35 seconds left, Kiara Fisher can't get the dagger to go, but Zaria Shazer fights for it and gets the putback. She goes on to have a double-double as the Red Foxes complete the upset 70-60. to 60. For Robert D. Felice, I'm James Haug. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Red Fox Report presented by the Marist Center for Sports Communication.